Hey guys, in this video we're going to be doing a MacBook Air versus the Retina MacBook Pro. Uh, we're basically going to just compare the design of these things because there's no point of uh, comparing the specs because they are different models. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So right off the bat, you can tell that the MacBook Air has that aluminum finish around the entire screen, whereas the MacBook Pro with Retina display has the black finish around the entire screen. The biggest difference between the computers is the thinness, and the 13-inch MacBook Air is 0.11 to 0.68 inches thin, whereas the Retina MacBook Pro is 0.71. Here's a look at the left side of the computers. The MacBook Pro has more ports because it is a professional computer, and the MacBook Air is a portable laptop. This is the back side of the laptops, nothing special going on here. On the right side of the laptops, you will find no optical drives, but there is an HDMI port on the new Retina MacBook Pro. Here's just a quick look at the front of the devices when they're both closed. The MacBook Air is very thin, but the MacBook Pro is not a fat computer by any means. The MacBook Air has a 13.3 inch display, and the resolution on that is 1440 by 900. The Retina MacBook Pro has a 15.4 inch Retina display, the resolution is 2880 by 1800, and there's also 220 pixels per inch. Here's a look at what the computers look like side by side. Let's go ahead and take a deeper look at the keyboards on both of these devices. So basically they mimic each other or they're almost exactly the same. They're both full size keyboards and they're very nice to type on. Alright guys, that's going to wrap up this design comparison. But just for fun, we're going to do a restart test to see which of these SSDs in the computers are faster. Since they both have flash storage, let's go ahead and see which one wins. Thanks guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.